So I hope you guys are doing good today. Uh, my name is Carlos Roberto and today what I'm going to be sharing with you guys is an amazing video because we're going to be talking about uh, men's haircuts and hairstyles for 2019. So that's what we're going to be discussing. I'm going to be sharing hairstyles, haircuts that are trending right now and that you guys could get inspiration from or just directly rip off the internet screenshot and tell your barbers, I want to do this or your hairstylist, I want to do this and make it happen. So let's go ahead and talk about this right now. So let's go ahead and talk about the first haircut, which is a very popular hairstyle, a very popular haircut, very classic. There's a lot of contemporary kind of uh, styles that are out in the internet and a very modernized versions of this, which is the crew cut. And the crew cut is a very classic staple haircut. It isn't going away anytime soon. That's why it's sticking around. Uh, you could also pair this haircut, like in this photo, with slightly a little bit longer uh, top. And it just kind of gives you that classic Ivy League version of the hairstyle it's not too short or bald on top so the crew cut is definitely something that's really good for people with uh, straight hair wavy hair curly hair any hair because when your hair is that short uh, it doesn't really matter your follicle isn't going to be expanded so it's not going to be long enough for it to actually take charge of what its true characteristic is so essentially a crew cut it's just a big lie <laughs> honestly the crew cut is just super easy to get uh, like in this photo i think this guy really went pretty short maybe with like a two or three guard on top uh, depending on how long you want it. I suggest a crew cut obviously is going to be shorter, but I definitely think this is a really sick uh, haircut and very easy to maintain. And yeah, for every hair type, welcome. Now the next haircut right here is the undercut hairstyle. And this has been very popular in the last couple of years. It really hasn't gone anywhere. I think it's one of these things where it's our generation of kind of like introducing a classic cut that's going to be going on for a very long time and kind of riding the waves of just classic hairstyles. And this haircut for men is very easy to achieve because it is really good for different hairstyles and hair types as well. And you could also manage to get a lot of hairstyles out of it. So although this haircut continues to trend like crazy and it's most people's go-to like Joe Blumon, you're also seeing a lot of different interpretations of it as well uh, where people are uh, including uh, pompadour hairstyles, quiffs, and also a nice messy fringe. So I definitely think that this hairstyle goes for uh, a lot of people with different variety of hair types, which is, I think is why it's so popular. And also, like I said, it's very versatile in the way where you want to shape it and style your hair. So the undercut's not going nowhere. Very beautiful cut. Check out that photo. Super sick, super clean. Now for the next haircut is a very catchy haircut. It's very awesome. It's a very military inspired haircut as well, which is the disconnected undercut. I definitely think that this is a very stylish haircut and especially the way you want to style it afterwards that you get this cut. It definitely depends on what you're doing and how you're styling it, but it looks great with longer tops. And if you throw it back, it looks really amazing. Like this haircut right here, uh, it looks good with a longer top. And also if you guys have a beard, it looks really good with a blended beard and it just gives that really badass effect. Uh, so disconnected undercut definitely isn't going anywhere. It's not too short and it's disconnected all the way around. It looks very edgy, but still modern. And I think it just blends in both of the classic, like military cut and also the new contemporary modern way that people are styling their hair, which is a very high kind of hairstyle. So definitely think that the undercut is the way to go for sure if you are just looking for something that's really easy to maintain and also good for different hair types as well. And it looks really good with uh, people with very straight hair because it just looks really sick, messy, but then also uh, looks really good with people with very extremely wavy hair to curly hair because it's just going to be there. It's going to sit well. It's going to sit well. It's going to be very responsive to this uh, haircut. So definitely disconnect the undercut. Love it. Next hairstyle you guys see a lot right now, especially I think a lot of people are going to do this because of the soccer games that are going on. If you guys are a fan of soccer, tell me who's your favorite team down below because we know that this is happening. And I've been seeing a lot of sick haircuts emerge. Uh, soccer players obviously always have the sickest haircuts and they usually have the low fade and very short top. And I think that the low fade is an actual great haircut to go to because you could do a lot of different variations like a low fade. I think that the low fade is an amazing hairstyle to go to because it fits a lot of face shapes and also it's very easy to maintain, but also could be tailored to the way you want it. So it depends on the low fade that you want, how you want to style it, and even the design that the barber or the hairstylist wants to give you in terms of the low fade, then it's totally up to you. But I think that it's an excellent choice for a very stylish haircut. So definitely the low fade is something that I would consider, especially now for summer, because it's summertime. Now the next cut is the mid fade cut, which just transitions to long to short around the temples. And this cut also could be styled very smart or just very casual. But a mid fade is a very good haircut to just define your features and it just kind of enhances your look. If you have a chiseled jawline, if you have a beard, if you have something going for yourself, 
along your face other than your hair, then you're good and it's gonna be defined. But a short haircut is just, like I said, it's very neat, it's very easy to manage. It also works for a lot of hair types. So definitely check out the mid fade if you're interested in it this summer. The next one is a high fade, and the high fade is just a little bit more of a risk because you have to really go to an experienced barber because a high fade could go bad really quickly, especially if they just don't know how to properly fade. Um, it could just be very high and just look kind of like a messed up high top, uh, or your head shape could just look very awkward and just not proportional. So I think that it's a very, uh, really cool haircut if it's done right. I wouldn't necessarily like go to a barber for the first time and ask for a high fade. I would definitely check out his high fading skills. As you can see in this photo, everything matters, even just the little bit of stubble that is from the very top to the mid portion of the temple. Uh, it's very tight, it's very clean. Uh, obviously it's probably razor faded all the way to a no guard, but the skin fade is just epically done and it has a nice little proportion to it uh, that just kind of goes into a solid um, shorter top, but very, very consistent. So I think that uh, something like a high fade is very sick, especially if you're doing a buzz cut like this, but you have to go to a very experienced barber. Don't just go to uh, Dimitri around the corner because he might fuck you up. <laughs> Now, the next hairstyle is the side part. And there's a lot of different variations to the side part. And I think that was the best time to ever get a side part because we have a really intricate barbers who know how to uh, define your side part with a razor and just kind of make it easy for you to not have to side part it yourself or decide where uh, the definition is going to be in terms of the part. And it's just already going to be implemented in the haircut. So I think that a side part has been, a long, has been around for a very long time, but now it's probably the most easier and accessible haircut and hairstyle to get. Uh, especially with the array of products out there as well. You could really uh, make a side part look very interesting interesting, and also very uh, original to you because it depends on the product you use and also if you decide to go with uh, the low fade or a very tight fade. It could look like a haircut that you decided to create yourself uh, because the side part uh, is very interesting because everyone has a different head shape. As this haircut is very popular, you see a lot of people rocking it, but it always looks different on everyone. So that's kind of like the fun part about the side part is just deciding where you want that side part to happen or where it's happening uh, just originally uh, or it's happening naturally. But it's just always like a really cool, easy way to uh, just get a good hairstyle. And also it looks really good with wavy hair as well. Curly hair side parts are awesome. And also if you have very straight hair, then you just look like a classic beast like this guy in this photo. So side parts are in. Now this next hairstyle is for the bold and just edgy fellas. And I think that this is something that's been trending quite a bit and we've seen a lot of celebrities go from having extremely beautiful high hair, uh, a lot of hair to longer hair to just cutting it all off and buzz cutting. So the buzz cut is coming in trending pretty hot right now. There's a lot of people who are not gonna necessarily take that step to cut their entire hair off, but it's also something that is looking very, very promising in the future of people just continuing to take that step to just cutting the hair off uh, and making it okay. Um, it doesn't look crazy anymore and there's definitely ways to cut your hair without just kind of, without just looking like you just did at your house like a DIY project. Um, everything matters in terms of shaping and where you're going to, you know, outline your hairline. Uh, leave it to the professionals. I don't recommend you buzz cutting yourself at home. I feel like if you are going to do that, you might as well just go to a barber shop or a hairstylist to do that for you. But and also with all the edgy trends that are happening right now, I feel like the buzz cuts, the buzz cut is definitely in. And you've seen a lot of lookbooks and just fashion uh, runways where people are just kind of cutting their hair off bald and looking really like edgy and just kind of like a badass. And yeah, I think that would be sick if you guys are kind of sick of your, of your hair and just want to restart in a fresh you know, hair follicle, go ahead and buzz it off and let me know how it goes. Now the next hairstyle has been around for a long time as well and it's been the Caesar cut. I think it's been modernized just by having a very like defined line like this guy right here where uh, the fringe is actually really defined in your, in your hairstyle and I think that people are actually doing this hairstyle quite a bit. Um, we see a lot of uh, fashion trends in the UK doing this, uh, fashion hair trends, I'm sorry, uh, happening in the United Kingdom with a lot of crazy designs, but they have that really cool short uh, French crop. Uh, I think that this is a really cool uh, hairstyle as well. You don't really have to have a particular hairstyle to pull this off. I think it looks really good. Obviously, if you have uh, a very structural face shape, then it looks really good. But I think that this is a very sick hairstyle to go for, uh, especially, like I said, if you don't want to have 
to worry about maintenance. And also, if you still, with the hair length like this gentleman right here, you can still use product and you can still comb it down and brush it forward just so it can be a little bit neater and not so dry looking. Uh, but I think that this hairstyle is awesome and it looks really cool, uh, especially with the edgy horizontal fringe, which makes it the Caesar cut. Now this next hairstyle right here is obviously the second to the Caesar, uh, which is a very short length that is styled forward to create a small fringe. Uh, obviously like this photo is very toss forward. It looks really good. It's best uh, worn with plenty of texture uh, or a little messy. I definitely like to have uh, my French crop when I've had it just covering my forehead just a little bit. Just right above where my eyebrow starts, I kind of like to have it a little bit longer just to find that French crop. And also a nice fade could go really well with this or even more of a longer side, uh, maybe just disconnected, not, nothing too crazy. Similar to this photo, just a very easy fashion forward haircut that looks really great. Uh, like I said in the first photo, like if you have straight hair, then it looks really good because you're able to get a lot of texture and it's very defined. Uh, especially if you have a light hair like this gentleman in the photo, but if you have darker hair as well, uh, you can still see the texture. And if you have wavy hair, then that texture will come very natural uh, and also just be way easier to maintain uh, if you get this French crop hairstyle. So these are the top haircuts and hairstyles for 2019. I'm trying to make this list for everyone. So if you have wavy hair, straight hair, curly hair, then this list should help you with uh, your next haircut inspiration. I hope this enjoy. I hope you guys found this very helpful. I hope you guys find this list helpful and useful and take it to your barbershop or your hairstylist and let them know what you want and show them a photo. It's very important. And yeah, let me know what you guys think about these hairstyles. Which one are you rocking? If you guys are rocking any of these or if you guys are rocking something completely different, then let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to follow me at Biocarlos Roberto if you guys are interested in more of my daily life. And also if you guys want to connect with me there, that'd be awesome. Biocarlos Roberto, shout me out. Put me in your stories. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Don't forget to put style on everything. Peace out.